Scott Fresner with TBS TV. I'm with my new best friend, Eric Huber from, is it Aeon? Aeon? Aeon. Aeon. <laughs> now, I was talking to one of your associates here who said you search high and low for a five digit co dot com name that you could use. Yes, yes. I mean, does, does it mean anything? Does it mean anything? Uh, it's a little bit inspired by Aeon, that means century in Austrian and German. Uh, See, I'm the American, so I wouldn't know that. So I'm going, what's yeah. it mean? It must mean something. It's like the drug names. What do they mean? They mean something, you know? So it's a single name, easy to remember. Yes. Now, you're a screen print guy? Yes, we, we have a back history in screen printing. Uh, we developed the machines for MHM screen printing with uh, my partner, Mr. Angelo Schierstel, over there. Angelo, just say hello to the visitors. <laughs> Angelo. Hello. I Angelo. introduced my <laughs> partner, Angelo Schierstel. He developed, uh, he was a uh, CTO of MHM screen printing machines and uh, my former company developed all electronics and uh, software. For the but have you, have either one of you machines? ever pulled a squeegee? Yes, we pulled a <laughs> You've actually, millions of squeegees. I mean, I know MHM's an automatic <laughs> press, but I want to know, have you ever yeah. done that? No, we also nice did job. it. Yeah. Yeah. But for, have you ever made yeah. screens? I mean, are you, do you have a screen print background? You've worked with MHM, but did you ever actually make screens and set up a press? Uh, we did it when we were testing the MHM machine. We, we also tested the printing. We spent a lot of nights around, inside, outside screen printing machines and also printed a lot of t-shirts. Right. And we have a long year experience in the business and uh, have a very I think, good understanding. I have of to that. go back to the machine. I know, you have to go back <laughs> to work. All right. Thank you very much. <laughs> so how long have you been working on this machine? Uh, for this machine, we have working about two years on the basic technology, driving the print heads, the data bus, the gigabit ethernet. And now, the final implementation of the machine took around seven to eight months. Did it really? Now, this was your goal to have, I mean, I know how when I had machines, my goal was always a trade show. Yeah. You, you have a trade show date, Same and that's it. That's the goal, right? <laughs> yeah, the big goal was to, to stand here at Fespa Digital in Hamburg and to present the machine. And you know, as, when I got here, you know, I didn't know if you were here because you're with a different, you're, you're with a different company name. You're not here yes. under Aon, and so I yeah. got here thinking they didn't make it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we were very short in time because a lot of the mechanical parts had big delivery delays, despite we ordered them half a year ago. But at the moment, the situation of sourcing the parts is not very easy, and so therefore we were not sure if we could make it to to the trade show. So therefore, we did not decide to make a big boost. Or so we here with our Italian friends. From Neolt, they're our partner. We, we well, it works partner. out well. I mean, you have a nice location. You, I mean, you're yep. here for the whole four days. The machine's running. You know, yes. I, I, don't, I don't think you're printing black shirts, but I know we know that's some technicalities that, that they get worked through. We just could not finish the pretreatment system. Uh, we already finished the tests of the white ink and uh, white printing on garment, and it's a very, very good quality. And we're very happy with the system so far, but because we could not finish the pretreatment because the time was simply too short for Vespa, yeah. we made the decision to present it in. Three to four no, I think it's the right decision. Yeah. I mean, I've taken yeah. shows, there's machines yeah. of shows that weren't quite ready, you know. Now, you're coming out with low ink prices, though. You've got it figured out that you have to have low ink. You're at 80 euros per liter. That's, yes. that's, your, that's your starting price? That's our starting price. Our idea when constructing this machine was to use our experience from the screen printing industry where we, we fo were focused on industrial volume production and to take this knowledge to the digital market. So we clearly wanted to develop a machine that's usable for industrial high volume t-shirt printing and one of the main restrictions is the high ink price oh, yeah. because it's simply if you pay 130, 140, 150 euro per liter it's not possible to, to reach a price and use a price for the t-shirt that makes it usable for industrial volume and so our main goal was to find a, a good ink partner who does exclusive ink development for us to achieve this price and mm -hmm. uh, we have a very very good experienced partner we have an exclusive contract with him uh, we'll disclose him uh, possibly next week. We also may, are making some new additional contracts, so if they're <laughs> finalized, we'll <laughs> disclose we your partner. We won't tell anybody, okay. Yes. Uh, but I it's show, a very show. experienced company, and I think they made a very, very good ink that's exclusively on the Aeon printer, yeah. and it has a very good uh, touch and feel, and a very good color, color and washing quality, and is completely Ecotech certified, so it's very env environmental friendly. It's a water-based pigmented ink, and it's very good chatable. So we had a very good cooperation also with Kyocera. I would like to use the, the time to say thank you to all the people that supported us, especially the guys from Kyocera for the print heads. And so, well, so now you've got a print head that has 2,000, what, 2,560 nozzles? Yeah, 2,558. 2, okay, it was close. <laughs> I was only 12. Yes. <laughs> it, is, uh, it is the newest print head from Kyocera. At the moment, it's the most powerful print head on the market. 
No, it's a four, to me, in, in the American, it's a near, four inches. I mean, I don't know how many it is in centimeters, four inches. Ten centimeters, so near four yeah. inches. Yeah. And it has a native resolution of 600 dpi and can have a print speed up to, let me calculate in feet, uh, uh, 150 feet per minute, print speed. Right. So a firing frequency of 20 kilohertz. So it's really a, a very powerful. That's excellent. Now, you, you think you're achieve, you can achieve the 400 light shirts per hour? Yes, we can possibly easily achieve them at the moment. We only printed about 60% of the speed of our machine. We uh, already, we had no time to, to make the speed optimization. Oh, yeah. See, a guy like and me goes, they'll get there. This, so you're, at the you're moment, we print at around 350 shirts. And if we reach full speed in the next weeks, if we have some time for testing, we'll possibly get over the 400. Now the you'll be at 200 for the black shirts, but you were saying you may be going faster than that for black. Yes. To have black will be a little, a little bit over 200. Now, are you going to pre-treat on the machine? I know you're not now, but is that the plan? Yeah, of course, this is the plan. We will uh, already developed a fully integrated pre-treatment system that will not slow down our process. We have a spray bar, so the D-shirt moves in, gets sprayed, and then we have a, a small heat braid press to bring down the fiber, and then they have... That's smart. The that, that's what I was working on. You have to have the heat press for sure. You have to yeah, flatten yeah. it down. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's good. Our so, main, yeah. so your booth has been very busy. I mean, I've come by here numerous times. You've been kind of, you're the new kids, the, yeah. new, the new toy. <laughs> yes, know? yes. We were so happy about uh, how the market reacted to our, to our idea. And there were so many people visiting us. And I talked now for, for four days. You're doing, I think you're I doing great. Two, I'm, two I'm, du I'm duly impressed. Yes. Now, you're going to be in production in two or three months? Uh, we're taking the first custom orders now for the machine. We already have uh, around five to six customers that all the machines. We have not signed the contract yet, but no money, no, no money yet. Huh? So the money will come in, <laughs> and uh, so and then you're going to go. Oh crap! Today. We got to build this thing now. Yeah, no, that's not the problem. We're organized to build it, and we have good funding to build the, to fill the the production. It's a big advantage. We we funded a complete project out of our own pockets, so we have no no debt at the banks. We have no investors that. Uh, want crazy revenues and yeah, yeah. so we're very independent so that's well, you seem nice. very entrepreneurial you know you're kind of yeah, yeah, doing it doing it. and you said you were working 22 hour days and maybe maybe getting two hours of sleep uh, in the last weeks were a little bit hard because we tried to to get the machine running and so in the last six weeks we worked every day from 8 to 12 in the night and the last 10 days we worked really from 8 in the morning until 3 4 in the morning just getting four or five hours sleep and we found the last software error three hours before the trade show started. <laughs> I, I understand <laughs> so. that. So you get here and you say a prayer, cross your fingers, and hope it's going to work, right? Yeah, yeah. So we were sure it's always the same. Like the we had the same with the machines of MHM. Sure. We yeah. also fixed the last errors in the morning in the trade show. Now they have, I think, two and a half thousand machines printing. Ah, uh, uh, fantastic, yes. F fantastic. Everybody can see it right there. That's great, beautiful. Yeah. Do you have a shirt I can take with me? I want to. Can I? Can I steal one? All right, you got a deal. And so, well, I'm excited for you because I know yeah. how this is a new toy, and you know it's great. And you're probably excited. And then in a year from now, where do you think you'll be? You'll sell 200 machines, 100 machines. I mean, uh, it's very difficult to talk about the, the volumes. We, we, our goals, we set our goals very, very small. So we, we said if we sell sell 10 machines at, in the beginning in the first year, it's. Makes us That's good. Happy. See, see, I'm the guy that would have said we'd sell 100. So you're, you're smarter than me. You're, 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 <laughs> here, we're going to move this way just a hair. Yeah. There we go. But that's, uh, a, that's a good goal. That's probably very attainable. Uh, so our, uh, our idea was to set the goals quite low. So if it's more, we're happy. And we also have the capacity with our partners to get to much higher volumes. But, and we have, from the customer requests we have, we have, for example, uh, yesterday we had a Russian company where we make an offer for four machines, and so the possibility is that the... Yeah. the well, you and I both from a screen print background know yeah. that that market is there. Yeah. The, the guy with the big room full of carousels yes. and MHMs, the, yeah. they've been asking me for the last two or three years, when will it be ready? And I yeah. keep going, when ink prices come down, it'll yeah. be ready, and when you yeah. get volume up. You have volume up, you have ink prices yeah. down, you have the perfect marriage, and I am jazzed for you guys. I'm looking forward to seeing your progression. What's next? Is there something else... Uh, the next generation? Yes, of course. We're already working on the next generation because... <laughs> you haven't even shipped any of these yet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, just uh, we already started some parts of the mechani mechanical designs. We finished the mechanical base design some months ago, so we had capacity to 
to work, work on and, uh, on the new generations. So Will there be a smaller one, you think? I mean, this is, a, yeah, this is do, big, yeah. which is okay, yeah. but it... We definitely need a smaller one because this is a high-end machine for the mass production market and we have a lot of requests for smaller machines. So our idea is to take the, the same idea of this machine to have a around 40 to 50,000 euro machine mm -hmm. for the entrance market. Uh, that's a good. That's a good price. Yeah. That's an excellent price. But so to have something in between those Epson-based printers and uh, mm -hmm. the smaller, uh, bigger printers, and it's, but we our idea is to to bring the same Aeon concept with uh, a real production printer with linear motor drive. With we possibly will use the Spectra Q series print head, right. professional ink system, a really rugged industrial printer for a for an entrance price that can make can help a small business uh, to get in business and then yeah go to the bigger machines oh I, I agree now what's the competition been saying what's oh. the what's the comp oh you got you got the uh, nice. we're looking at the uh, the Vespa this is the daily that that comes out every day oh you got a nice spread that's oh, excellent nice. oh you guys are the buzz of the show for the oh, for the yeah. t-shirt guys there we go I am impressed yeah. there's there's some high fives going on behind the camera here you know yes. Probably a lot of little bit of drinking was going on last night or the night before, or, uh, uh, or maybe tonight. We have to tear down tonight, so tonight's the hard thing. We we had a very nice talk yesterday with a very uh, nice and beautiful and charming sales girl from our partner competitor Conit. Uh, <laughs> a nice talk. Yes, <laughs> she, was she was prying nice, prying yeah. you for. <laughs> no, no, she, we had a very interesting talk. She explained a little bit. Uh, we talked around the uh, competition and she explained a little bit about the developments and so yeah. also tried to get our ink price and we told her. <laughs> so I want uh, to say nice greetings to my friends at, at Conitz. You know, we, hope we have a fair partnership and competition. Well, <laughs> Over all the years when I made machines, the Cornet guys were the friendliest. They yes, were always, yeah, I mean, I know yeah. that everybody, it's good to be friendly with your competition. Oh, and course, they knew yes. that, but they yeah. were always, some of the competitors were very backstabbing. But the Cornet guys were always very friendly, always very cordial. Mm -hmm. I have to give them high marks for that. They get yeah. it. Of course, meanwhile, they're working the room. They're trying to yeah. figure out what you're doing. No, they, they also visited us here at the stand, and we had really nice talks. And I think the, the market is growing anyway, so there's enough space for everyone. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This was bound to happen. I mean, I thought maybe they would have done this by now, but this was bound to happen, and so I'm glad it happened here. Listen, it's been great to meet you, by the way. Yeah, We've also, been emailing back and forth, yes. and I knew that you hadn't responded lately to my emails because you were yeah, busy. Yeah, I, was, I didn't respond so for around 10 days because there was not a single second I could... I think they locked you in the room, emails. probably. Yeah, it was like this. We were, I was working with my developer team. We were... We didn't leave the machine for, for days. Yeah, no, I understand that. Well, uh, congratulations to you. You guys did a great job. Much, and good luck to you. Yeah. Listen, congratulations. You, you did a nice job. All right, good to see you guys. Thank you. All right, we are, we are from Hamburg, Germany, with my new best friends from Aeon. 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 All right, Scott Frizzer for TBS TV, signing off. Later. Very nice. Okay, Very Scott, good. thank you so thank much. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> good to see you.